My name is Clay Newcomb and I'm the publisher of Bear Hunting Magazine. Thanks for joining the conservation this week. We had the opportunity to cook the bacon onion deer meat from the deer I killed a few weeks ago with my traditional bow. I also want to share with you a few things that have helped me successfully transition from compound to traditional archery. Jed's gonna help. Right on, Jed. Bring it here. Come on. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Oh, Jed. It seems like society's going backwards. Everybody knows it's good for your brain to read, but people still just want to watch. A wise man once told me that print will never die. You cannot believe everything you read on the internet. You can believe everything that you read in Bear Hunting Magazine. I've been shooting traditional archery since about 2002, but it wasn't until about 2014 that I really seriously started to hunt with a traditional bow almost exclusively. I killed my first deer in 2008, and since then, well, from 2008 to 2014, I kind of piddled, went back and forth between the compound. And now about 80% of my hunting is with traditional archery. And here are four tips that have helped me be successful. When I first started shooting traditional archery, I was erratic at best and was probably only accurate out to about 10 yards. One of the things that really helped me, number one, was shooting three fingers under. When I first started shooting, I was shooting split fingered and I had a very difficult time shooting accurate. One day I put three fingers under, drew the bow right up underneath my eye and released and I could hit right where I was aiming. The second thing that helped me become accurate for hunting was learning to hold my bow arm up and pointed towards the target until I heard the arrow hit the target. So often you don't realize how much you drop your bow arm. You draw the bow, shoot, drop your bow arm. I have to tell myself every time I draw the bow to anchor, bow arm out. That's what I say, bow arm out. So put your bow arm out, draw the arrow, hold your bow arm tight till you hit you, your arrow acquires the target, then drop the bow. You'll be amazed at how many more times you'll hit when you hold the bow arm out. The third thing that helped me become hunting accurate is having a consistent anchor point, which is probably the hardest thing for me personally to do. The way that I had to configure this in my mind is that this bow would shoot exactly the same every single time if it was being shot out of a robot. And so I shoot three fingers under the knock and I draw it until my middle finger pinches the back corner of my mouth. And then that's my anchor and then my release my, I want my elbow to feel like I'm trying to punch somebody in the teeth with my elbow behind me. So I draw the bow, middle finger, release. The fourth thing that has helped me be hunting accurate is learning how to pick a spot and truly focus. I learned from a book by Fred Asbel where he'll take his, he'll take his finger and point and just truly focus on one spot. When I shoot traditional archery, that's what it feels like. My focus has to be intently upon exactly where I want to hit. That, that focus is a trained and a learned thing. So while you're trying to do all these things with your form, you're also training your mind to focus on a spot. And so it's almost like I'm using my bow arm to point and I lean, I like to lean into the shot, helps me focus. So bow arm stiff, Three fingers under, draw to the corner of my mouth, focus, elbow somebody in the teeth back here, and hit the spot. One of the biggest challenges with compound archers switching to traditional is they feel like they're gonna miss opportunities in the field to take game. When you shoot traditional archery, you're making a choice to limit yourself for the purpose of greater satisfaction when you do take an animal. And I had to totally annihilate those thoughts that this thing was limiting me. When I, when I hold this bow in my hand and I view it as a limiting factor of my hunting, then it becomes a liability. What I've trained myself to do is when I pick up this bow, I feel like I could kill any critter that's walking on the face of the earth. 
I quit viewing it as a liability and it changed the way I thought and all of a sudden I just learned to become a better hunter. I knew I had to get closer, I had to set my tree stand closer, I had to be more particular with my shots and I have not seen my success go down greatly because I'm shooting a traditional bow. Granted, you are giving up some distance. I cannot shoot this bow very accurate out past about 20 yards and that's the truth. But in 90% of my bow hunting and the animals I've taken, they've been inside of 20 yards and a vast majority of them have been inside of 15 yards. So you're not limiting yourself as much as you think by going trad. It's a chilly day here in the Ozarks, so what do we do? We're gonna make some chili using the bacon, onion, deer meat mix from last week. We're gonna give you a report. We're also gonna be grilling some burgers tonight. There I go again, pointing at the camera. They told me to stop. What's the best way to open a tin can? With a big knife. We've got a little, this is some special Southwest Arkansas seasoning we like to use called Janky Salt. The chili and the burgers were excellent. Bacon added some flavor, the onions added some texture. Excellent combination. Bacon, onion, deer meat burger, here we go. Mmm, it's good. It's good, it's got just the right amount of flavor. Not too dry, not gamey at all. Right on. Come on, Jeff. Thanks for being a part of the conservation here at the Global Headquarters. We're gonna keep working on the May-June issue of Bear Hunting Magazine. And until next week, keep on thinking of a good slogan for this vlog. I mean, it's like, we got to have something. Leave us a comment on what you think it should be. Someone just texted me what they thought it should be. Jed, let's roll. Come on, come on, come on.